Hey guys, Emma here, also known as 8 Vinyl Low, bringing you guys another video. As you can see, I am finally back. Um, if you guys have been keeping up with my videos, you know that for about a month, um, basically all through July, I was back in my hometown visiting uh, family and friends and stuff like that. I'm currently in college, so summertime's my time to kind of go see them. Um, I'm currently back uh, in my college town, and as you can see, I'm kind of working on something over here. i um, not going to show you guys yet, because it's not done, but I'm working on something a little bit new that I think you guys will really like. You can see a sneak peek, um, but kind of playing around with that, and um, also been starting to, I just created a Discogs account, which is good, it's 8 vinyl low. Um, and I'm gonna want to eventually try to input all of my records into there. Uh, I know it is a very long process and that it takes a lot of time and patience, um, but that is fine for me. I can do that. So a lot of stuff that I want to get done over the next kind of month. We'll see. Um, but the setup's kind of almost done. So hopefully in the next couple of videos, I'll be able to show you guys kind of what I've been working on in terms of that. Um... But yeah, so just got back uh, probably three or four days ago. Uh, I've just been really busy kind of getting back into the swing of things. Um, I'm starting student teaching next sem or not next semester, next week. Um, so my schedule will probably, my uploads and stuff will probably be a little less frequent um, depending on how crazy and busy that is, which I'm sure it will be. Um, but that is fine. So... Uh, with that, today's video is going to be a VCLT unboxing. Uh, this video is a little special because it is my birthday VCLT unboxing. Uh, my birthday was July 14th, so it was about almost a month ago. Uh, but like I said, I haven't been here. And um, some very generous individuals from the vinyl community had sent me some birthday VCLT, and don't worry, it wasn't outside, my roommate had brought them in. Um, but, so they were nice and safe, but yeah, so I'm finally having time to film this video and open them up, um, so I'm very excited about this. Um, so, with that, let's get into this. Oh, also want to mention, I'll show you guys in this video. Um, this morning, and I posted about it on my Instagram, so for those of you who follow me on there, it's just 8 vinyl low. Um, they saw a sneak peek of what I picked up this morning at a garage sale. There was a garage sale around here. Uh, they were advertising that they had records and 45s and all this stuff. So of course I went and um, maybe had like 50 or so records. Um, some of them were kind of beat up. I ended up taking probably all the ones that were really worth anything. Um, and were in decent condition. I had to leave some Rolling Stones and um, some Santan and stuff like that that I probably would have picked up, but the condition wasn't that good. But these records are in really good condition. There's some wear and tear on the covers, uh, but the wax itself, I always pick up, you know, VG plus or higher. I'm kind of picky when it comes to the wax itself, I think, which we all are. Um, but the covers don't really bother me that much. So, let me show you guys what I picked up today. I'm just going to go through these real quick. Picked up some Grant Funk Railroad. This is a really cool cover. I've seen this a couple times, but I normally don't pick them up. All of these, by the way, were a dollar. So for a dollar, even if the cover's a little beat up, wax is still VG plus and higher, I'm happy. So grab that. Grab some Frigid Pink. Cool edition. Here is Younger Than Yesterday by The Birds. This is a very nice mono copy, which was um, I was super excited to see. It does have the previous owner's name up there, but I let it slide. Double LP History of Eric Clapton. This is super cool. You know how much I love his guitar work. Nice uh, gatefold. Here is a mono pressing of Blues Magoo's Electric Comic Book. Super cool to grab this as well. All right, here's some Alice Cooper Billion Dollar Babies. And yes, it does come with 
the dollar bill. It's behind that poster there. <laughs> also grab Otis Redding, the Jimi Hendrix ex experience. Some blues rock here with canned heat in concert. I'm assuming this is live. I'm gonna guess. Oh yeah, it does say. Recorded live in Europe. Good job, Emma. Pat on the back. And here's some Rare Earth, One World. So, grab those all for a buck this morning at a sale. Super happy about those. I still gotta clean them. Um, but yeah. So, now on to some VCLT. Uh, two very generous people, like I said, in the VC uh, have sent me some VCLT. One of which is Mike from Mike Guitar Player 07, and the other is Jeff Kempen, who we all know in the VC. Um, he sent me some VCLT before, and of course, in my uh, couple videos back, I mentioned that um, he gave me some ACD records for my birthday. I saw him at the Chicagoland Record Show, um, and also we met up at an estate sale about a month back and recorded a video for his channel. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's always cool to see people from the VC um, meet. So with that, let's get right into it. Making sure I'm not showing the name and address on here, but here is the backside. Here is the VCLT from Mike Guitar Player 07. I'm gonna open it up. You can see it's nice and sealed. And as you guys have seen from previous VCLT unboxings, I'm not the best at getting these open at a fast rate, so bear with me. Let me know if you guys like, you know, the whole unboxing, unboxing experience when VCLT comes in, or if you just like me having it already unboxed and then showing you. I kind of like the surprise of it. I think that makes it a little bit more fun. So, okay. So there's some cardboard, cardboard on top, which is very good, protect your records. And I'm gonna look at you guys and then start pulling out here what we have. So, I feel a note on top. Here's a note. I'm not gonna read it yet in case there's spoilers in it, so I'm just gonna put that over there. All right, it feels like there's a decent amount of records in there. So let's see, here we go. All right, some Jeff Beck blow by blow. Uh, I don't have this one yet, um, but I'm sure that you guys know by now, I love me, my British musicians, and I really do love Jeff Beck as a guitarist. So I am collecting his work. This one I didn't have yet, so thank you, Mike. Um, I know that you said that you were gonna send me some Jeff Beck, so this is awesome. And I did not have this one, so very, very nice. All right, moving along here. Here is Harry Chapman, Greatest Stories Live. Not too familiar with his work, but this looks like a double LP, so that is super nice. Nice gatefold there. Let's see, I'm gonna read some of these songs. Or am I just like out of the loop? Love is just another word, kinda sounds familiar. Very cool, I'm excited to give this a listen. I'm not, I've heard, I've seen the name, but I've not picked him up, so that's super cool. And it's a double LP. I love double LPs, especially buying them, and especially buying them at a good price, because it feels like you're getting more bang for your buck, if you get what I mean. <laughs> anyway, um, I amuse myself sometimes. Next up, all right, the Manhattan Transfer. Do have a couple records from them, but I do not have this one. So, um... I think I have a couple records from them. I'm gonna have to check. This is why I need to do Discogs. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. Let's see here. Is it just self-titled? Yeah, it's just self-titled. All right. Super cool. I'm excited to listen to this. I might put it in tonight. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Feels like there's two more in there. Wow, Mike, you're awesome. I'm sure you're watching this. Here we go. All right, some Moody Blues, Days of Future Past. 
I love the Moody Blues. I was also talking to Mike about the Moody Blues as well, and we kind of agreed that they really don't put out uh, a bad album. So, but I didn't have this one. So, thank you, Mike, for allowing me to add to the collection there. And it looks like, yeah, look at the label real quick. Yeah, it's super nice. I am so excited about this one. Alright. Days of Future Past. And finally, we have... I have no idea what that is. Symphonic Variations Philadelphia Orchestra. Okay. All right. So some orchestra stuff. Mike's trying to get me into the classical stuff. I know nothing about classical. Now, I'll listen to classical. I actually don't mind it. Um, I used to work at a music venue that had classical shows all the time. So I used to listen, and I really did enjoy it. But in terms of, like, collecting classical, you know, music and orchestra and all that, I got nothing. I wouldn't even know where to start. So I'm hoping that, thank you, Mike, um, this will be my kind of introduction into that world. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. That is awesome. Thank you, Mike, for real. Um, here is your note. Uh, I will read this here. Oh, he actually wrote about Harry Chapin. There we go. Hey, Emma, happy friggin' birthday. Thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoy the records I've enclosed for your special day. You already knew you were getting Jeff Beck's Blow by Blow. But you did not know of the others or that I was surprising you with a whole birthday package. You really did. Thank you so much. Um, so you knew Beck, so there is no need for me to explain that album, but let's get into the others. Um, Harry Chapin is a singer-songwriter from the 70s whose life was cut way too short in the early 80s. The record of his, You're Holding, is one of his two most popular records and is considered one of the best live albums ever released. Mike, this is hilarious reading for a second, because you wrote, it's considered one of the best live albums ever released. Mike, I know you're having a birthday here in next week, I think, um, August 14th. I'm July 14th. You're August 14th. Um, but I sent your way, in my opinion, the best live album ever released. So that is awesome. We're on the same wave wavelength there. I start to talk fast when I get excited. Anyway, the tunes you may know are Cats in the Cradle. That's Harry Chapin? Okay, I know it now. Taxi and 300 or 30,000 pounds of bananas. That's a lot of bananas. I agree. That is a lot of bananas. I like bananas, but that's a lot. Next, you'll find the self-titled album by The Manhattan Transfer. It is a little cheesy, but still a fun record. Awesome. Perhaps it's your first jazz record? I know you've been wanting some jazz. Uh, what is cool about this jazz um, gem is that they bring back vocal styles and uh, big band materials that was popular in the 1920s and 1940. I actually really do enjoy big band jazz, um, so I'm super excited to give that a listen, which is surprising that I do enjoy that. I feel like... A lot of people my age don't, um, but I actually like it. Uh, the, f the fourth birthday record is the Moody Blues, Days of Future Past, yes, of the Moody Blues discography. This one is the most unique. Uh, it is like no other album by them. You've been interested in psych rock, and this album and band is full of psych and prog rock. Very nice. Nice uh, Nights in White Satin is the biggest only hit from this album. This is one of my least favorite albums by the Moody's, but still an important album to own. All right, I'm excited. Uh, lastly, I just threw in a random classical record because why not? Haha. <laughs> uh, you're amazing. I hope your birthday rocked, and I hope you like the records. All the best, Mike. Yes, thank you so much, Mike, uh, for your thoughtful gifts. It really was a birthday package. Um, you're awesome. So. Thank you. And I'm very excited for you to get your birthday records as well. All right. Moving on along here. Make sure I'm not showing this side. We have this hefty package here. It's a big one. Um, big box from Jeff Kempen. So I'm going to go ahead 
and open this. I have a question, real quick. Does anyone who gets like VCLT letters and stuff, do they always put them in the sleeve, you know, with the record that they got? Because that's what I do. I like to have like letters and stuff that people write and keep them with the records that they sent. Let me know if you do that. I've seen a couple people in the VC do it, but I really like to do that too. So I just thought I'd ask. All right, this is gonna be interesting to open. Let's do that. We're gonna do this side. I would like play some music while I'm trying to open this. Um, so you're not just staring at my confused face trying to figure this out. But I also don't wanna be copyrighted. So there's that. All right, there's a note on top here, cardboard too, so I cannot see it. It does say spoiler, so Jeff, I will not um, read that. All right. Now he told me one album that he was gonna send my way. Because either he already had it, or he was going to get it, or something. So, I know one album that's coming. But it does feel like there's definitely more than one in there. So, super nice um, of you. Got the cardboard out. Opening up the bubble wrap. And I'm going to try to lift up the first record here. And, yep. Uh, Heroes by David Bowie. I think this was the one that Jeff said he was going to send because he asked if I had and I said I, that I did not. Um, super excited about this. Make sure we don't get a glare there with the sleeve. That's awesome. Yeah, he asked if I had any David Bowie and I said that I didn't. I do have the record store day release of The World of David Bowie, but that's the only one that I have so far. So super excited to start getting into more of his work so thank you very much all right feels like there's a couple more in there gonna lift that up all right some more david bowie oh that's awesome i'm getting so excited uh this is a two record set uh stage stage by david bowie Let's see if i can avoid the glare again here feels like it's gonna be gatefold too so i'll show you guys case you want to see. That is awesome. Okay, now now I'm showing my age. I do listen to mostly older music and I'm very much into the you know late 60s, mostly 70s. Um, British Blue Girl, totally cheap trick, you know. But I, there is a band, a current band, called Five Seconds of Summer. I don't really listen to them, but I do know of the members and those of you who know what I'm talking about, probably under the age of like 30, keep listening, those not, tune out. Um, but doesn't that kind of look like right here, the drummer from, from Five Seconds of Summer? I think it does. I don't know. Anyway, this is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Put it back in the nice sleeve here. Some of you probably had no idea what I was talking about. That's okay. Okay, let's see. All right, some the police. This is Ghosts in the Machine. This is awesome. Uh, I've picked up a couple police records over the summer, but not this one. So super cool. Out real quick so you don't get the glare. Very neat. Get in there. All right, is that? Feel two more in there. Wow. Okay. All right. Some more of the police. This is really cool. Is this the one that has? Okay. I'm not. I don't know a lot about the police. Um. I did get one. One album. The blue one. I forgot what it's called. It's a blue cover. I got that at a Goodwill. For one of my hauls over the summer. Is this the one? that has the different colored albums or the am i right because i know genesis one of the genesis records has it and now i'm blabbering but let me know if i'm right that like 
this album by the police has different covers of this. This is super cool. Let me know. I'm not, I feel like, or if, is it a different one? I don't know what I'm saying. All right, here's the Dukes. I do not know of the Dukes at all. I'm excited. I really like listening to new stuff that I've never even heard of. And I've never even heard of the Dukes. Let me read the back here. Time on Your Side sounds like a familiar song, although I feel like there's a million songs called Time on Your Side. All right, this is awesome. I'm super excited um, to give these guys a listen to. If Jeff recommends them, I'm sure they sound amazing. So that's awesome. Thank you so much, Jeff. Now I'm gonna bring out the fancy note here. It says, uh, hi Emma, got some more VCLT for you. Anthony Ferraro gave me copies of Heroes and Stage by David Bowie, and I'm passing on my original copies to you. They're in very nice shape and sound great. Heroes is part of the Berlin trilogy that Bowie is famous for, and the music is a little more artsy and out there, but it's really good stuff. Hope you like it. I'm sure I will. Uh, Stage is a double live album. That's what I figured from roughly the same time period, 77 to 78, and you'll hear a range of his... Um, music up to that time. Uh, very enjoyable too. Um, then there are two police albums that I have doubles of. Don't know if you like the police or have these, but if you do, feel, feel free to pass them on. Yeah, I don't have these ones. I do have um, the blue album, whatever that's called. Someone will let me know in the comments. What was it? I think I posted a video like two videos ago where I was showing off some thrift store finds and I totally butchered a name of a band. I think it's the Pentangle and I called it the Pentagle and the comments came at me. Thank you so much for the correction. Now I will never forget that. It's literally stuck in my head, but I think that's what it is. I called it like the Pentagle or something like that and everybody was like, it's Pentangle or something like that and I probably just said it wrong again now everyone's gonna come at me so it has Burt Janch in it I don't know um Ghost of Machine has a cover seam separation at the bottom is a little beat up that's fine it's a good player too no problem um it looks scuffed but it plays through playing through is the important part Jeff um I got the copy sealed and I think the paper inner left these marks on the vinyl but it plays nice hope you enjoy it I will um Lastly, I threw in an album by the Dukes. Don't really know much about them, okay? Other than uh, Jimmy McCulloch was a guitarist and he played briefly with Paul McCartney and Wings. Okay. Uh, again, if you don't like it or don't want it, feel free to pass it on. Definitely excited to try it. Uh, no need to send anything in return. Check your mail soon. Uh, I'm happy paying it forward and helping you build up your collection. Take care, Jeff. Thank you so much. Um, kind of went on a talking tangent, I'm a little all over the place, but that's okay. Um, anyway, as always, um, I've said it once, I'll say it again, the generosity of the VC always floors me, and, um, it's what makes the VC just so damn fun. Uh, just learning about new music, passing on the love to each other, and um, supporting each other. So, thank you so much to Mike, to Jeff, um, for your very kind and generous gifts. And of course, to everyone who's wished me a happy birthday, either on YouTube or Instagram. Uh, it means a lot, and I know we're a month month uh, late now, but better late than ever. So, um, with that, I will see you guys for my next video. Bye, guys.